Hello friends, my name is Gautam and you are watching the part 2 in the tutorial series of making a, a live chat application in Node.js and Socket.io. So in this tutorial we will be downloading the required software. So basically first of all you will have to download Node.js for this. So for that you can navigate to google.com and you can write node.js and go to this website node.js so you can download the stable version that is this version you can download the current version but it may be unstable so you it is recommended for most users users so i have also downloaded this so just click on this and download this so i have already downloaded node.js so i will not download again so once you download node.js you will find that this node.js command prompt is there so just open this command prompt so in order to check that node is successfully installed or not so there are some commands there you can simply write these commands so for checking the node version version so you can simply type node hyphen v so v stand for version so let me type here simply go to node slash hyphen v so it is showing me that version 6.11.0 so if you type it so if you find that is it is showing you the version so you have successfully downloaded the node.js so and the second thing that is node npm so npm stands for uh, node package manager so it is used for downloading the various dependencies of node.js and various dependencies of the project so the same process is there so just type npm and hyphen v that is version so it will just enter and it will show you the version so it will take some time so as you can see here it is showing me that 3.10.10 so if you but type these commands and the same results come so you are successfully downloading node.js so after that you just have to navigate to the directory where you want to create your project so i will be creating in this directory so let me declare a new directory that is new folder and let me rename it to let's suppose chat so chat will be the name of the folder so after that just go to the node.js command prompt and here I am in Gotham directory so I need to move into the chat directory so I will simply write cd so cd stands for change directory and followed by the name of the directory in you want to go that is chat so I am there in the chat directory so first of all I will be creating my package.json file so this will create the different dependencies that is there in order to build this project so the command responsible for making this file is npm init so just simply write npm init so it will create your package.json file you can simply write your own name or it is the default one so i will be there i will my project name will be chat so let me click enter so it is sorry name can no longer contain capital letters so just change it to chat and click enter so version is 1.00 so it is default so click enter again no description i am not providing any description so click enter entry point index.js so it is provide, providing me the entry point of the project so it is saying to me that the index.js file will be the entry point of the this chat application so it is ok so click enter after that it is showing to me that test command then click enter again git repository no again click enter keywords no again click enter author just type it is not mandatory so just write me so after that license again click enter so after that it is asking that is is this ok just type yes 
and you are done so your package.json file is ready so let me check and go to my Gotham and this directory chat so as you can see here my package.json file is ready so let me open this in brackets editor so I am using this brackets editor so it is powered by Adobe you can also use it and you can also download it from brackets official website so this is the package.json file so name of the project is chat version is 1.00 description is not I am not providing any description so main this is the entry point that is index.js this is a file entry point file and this is author this is license so this is all there in the package.json file so after that we just have to install our packages that is first of all install express.js so simply type these command that is npm install express uh, hyphen hyphen save so just write npm install express hyphen hyphen save so it will be installing your express js into your package dot json file so it will take some time so depending upon your internet speed so as it is completed so let me refresh this so you can see here dependencies is added that is express with version number so it is added automatically into your package.json file so after that you have to download the socket.io for downloading it a simple command is there that is npm install socket.io slash less save so let me write this again npm install socket.io hyphen hyphen save so this will install my socket.io in the package.json file for me so it will take some time so as you can see it is downloaded my socket.io so let me refresh this so as you can see here socket.io has been added with version number so this is automatically added so one thing remain that is this last thing that is nodeman so nodeman is not necessary but it is a very useful tool because uh, you have seen in node applications that you have to restart the node server again and again if you have made any changes in, in your files so this is a very easy tool if you if you install this tool then you do not have to restart the node server node server again and again if you refresh if you update any changes in your file so just install this npm install node mon node man and hyphen hyphen save so as it is not the mandatory dependency so it, it will be stored in the dev dependency so hyphen dev dev so just click enter it will install nodeman so just go to this package.json file so it will install nodeman dependency so depending upon your internet speed it will take time so as you can see here it has downloaded nodeman so let me refresh this so as you can see here it is downloaded to dev dependencies nodeman with version number because it is not mandatory dependency so it has been added to dev de dependencies so it brings to the end of this tutorial so in this tutorial we have successfully set up the environment for creating our application so in the next tutorial tutorial we will be starting our coding to code this application chat live chat application so stay tuned guys if you like this tutorial please like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial until then thank you very much